Hi friends, my name is Mish Charlie and I'm a children's librarian at the Columbus Public Library. Today we're going to be doing story time from my home. And boy do I have a story time for you today. I love to read silly books and today may be one of the silliest of them all. This book is called Llama Destroys the World. <laughs> what? Llama Destroys the World? Really? It says right here, I am Llama. Hmm, this sounds like an interesting story and I think we need to read it. So why don't we put on our listening ears? We're gonna read our book, Llama Destroys the World. Llama Destroys the World by Jonathan Stutzman. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama proclaimed the llama. Monday. Monday. On Monday, llama found cake. Piles of cake, more cake than any llama should ever eat. Dot, said the llama. Llama ate all of the cake. And that was his first mistake. See right here, it says burr. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing and so Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was full of cake. Ooh. I think some of us can understand that right now. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. And so Llama huffed and he puffed and he squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. And well, that was his second mistake. And then Llama danced and he jiggled and he tangoed and he cha cha real smooth. His rhythm, it was perfect. His moves were precise. But the pants never stood a chance. The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. Dot, said the Llama. He'd never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a Llama of science and he knew the answers were out there just waiting to be discovered. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers that he could find. And then he analyzed all that data and came to a well thought out conclusion. Dot, said Llama wisely. Instead of warning the world about its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. And that was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Llama didn't even notice. Thursdays were for painting and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. Is he drawing a picture of himself? Get over yourself, Llama. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew. 
the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew. And Llama? Llama flew too. I am Llama. The black hole swallowed everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. Until there was nothing left. I am Lama. Saturday? On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Lama. I am Lama, proclaimed Lama. The sky was blue. The sun was shining. The world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. Mm-mm-mm. More pie than any llama should ever eat. Dot, said Llama. And so, Llama ate all of that pie. A round of applause. A round of applause. Wow, we got through that one. That was a very silly book. Or was it a very deep book? Could there have been some deep philosophical meaning derived from that story? Or was it a story about a llama that ate too much and his pants ripped? I don't know. Anyway, if you like this story, make sure you tune back in because we have plenty of videos that we're going to be putting up coming your way. You can watch them straight from home. In the meantime, my name is Miss Charlie from the Columbus Public Library. And please, please, please remember to read. See you next time. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win. CVLGA.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.